Hello, I'd like to teach you about the resistor color code and how I memorized it in a different way. In school, they taught us some acronyms or some riddles that helped us memorize the numbers with the colors, such as black bears run over yellow grass and bad boys, etc., etc. Um, I found those a little tedious to continue to refer to each time I was trying to determine the value of each resistor. So I came up with my own association just with things in my head. And I want to teach you my system, and it can be replicated any way you want. You can choose different shapes if you want, but here's what I have. The very first one is a zero in the color code, and it is black. And the way I memorize that is an olive, not just an olive, but a big olive. It's a huge olive. It can be this big or as big as your entire house. And what happens to, with the olive is you need to have an action with the shape. So it rolls down the hill and it runs you over and squishes you. Black is zero or an olive. Number one is brown. I decided to picture a lonesome brown bear in the woods taking a poo. The shape of the poo comes out as a one. I know it's disgusting, but that's the whole reason is there's, it's got to be weird and there's got to be action to it. So a brown bear in the woods, number one. Number two is a little more subtle. Two is red, as you know. Whenever you eat cherries, they come off on a stem and they're in a pair. So cherries is red and it's number two. Three is, has a little more action to it, but oftentimes when you're in your kitchen and there's a bowl full of fruit, you grab three oranges and what do you do? You start juggling them and someone gets mad at you because you just dropped two of them on the floor. So orange is number three. Number four, if you can imagine taking four bananas, four yellow bananas, and laying them out on a table to draw the number four, it takes four, they're yellow, and it spells number four. Number five, it's kind of a stretch, but it, it was what I wanted to memorize. And whenever I picture something that looks like this, besides my hand, of course, is marijuana. Marijuana has approximately five leaves and it's green. So you can add some action to this marijuana leaf. You can picture someone smoking it, or you can picture yourself fanning it. You have a marijuana leaf and you're fanning it. And it's green, number five. Six, this is my personal preference. I like air shows and the Blue Angels are blue and they fly in a formation of six. So blue is number six, or the blue angels. Seven is a little bit more of a stretch. Um, as you know, seven is the color violet, and the shape of an ax, or the weapon you most often see in creepy murder movies in the woods, would be an ax or some kind of weapon like that. So you can picture a hatchet, and it'll have blood dripping off of it, and the blood drips onto your new shoes and ruins your shoes, or the blood drips onto the carpet and ruins your new carpet. So seven is violent or violet. Eight, I made this up just for me. You can choose your own shape, but I pictured the actual number eight, and it's a great eight. It's huge, and it has fangs, and it has flailing arms, and it's chasing you down the street. So I added action to it, and it's a little weird, and that's what sticks in my head. Now nine is, I pictured a white knight in shining armor, and you can picture a beautiful steed galloping down the street, and on top of it, instead of a, a knight, is an actual white knight, and the nine can have a sword in his hand, or a shield, however one you want to picture it. So I used these colors and these associations to memorize the values of the resistor code. There's plenty of other videos out there to determine the math and the numbers and the calculations and the percentages of the resistors and capacitors and all that. But my video today is to just help you memorize quickly the numbers associated with the colors. Thanks.